Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the fiscal variant. In my previous introduction video related to fiscal variant, I already explained the T code related to OB37, where we have checked for a particular company code, how to uh, check the which fiscal variant is assigned to that. So that T code also we are going to touch here because after configuration, we are also going to use OB37 to assign the fiscal variant. Because when we are going to configure the fiscal variant, Fiscal variant is defined at client level. So we have multiple levels are there. Something we are going to configure at company code level, something we have configured client level, something we are going to configure at plant level. So far, whatever the organization structure settings we configured, whether it is plant, whether it is division, whether it is purchase organization, sales organization. So everything we have configured client level. So client means at system level we have configured and uh, that we need to assign with each other so that's why if you recall after creating something i have assigned to organization structure let's say company code created so company code assigned to the plant or plant assigned to the company code purchase organization assigned to the company code same way here when we are going to configure the fiscal variant that will be created at client level so we need to assign to multiple company code and that is why we have the option we can use one fiscal variant to multiple company code or we can assign to multiple company code but again if it is possible for example let's say we have created the fiscal variant as calendar whereas we are trying to assign to a non-calendar format means uk one company code belongs to uk uk there we are following april to march whereas you you are trying to assign the fiscal variant which you have configured for the calendar settings you may assign that is technically there is there will be no error but reporting point of view error will be there controlling point of view of, uh, error will be there so that's why as per the legal requirement we have to see accordingly we need to configure and we are going to create and assign the fiscal variant to our company code so let's configure that one in the system to access this fiscal year settings so directly you can use transaction code ob29 you can use this transaction code here ob29 or you can use the system navigation so i'm showing both which one is comfortable to you you can use that one so I will go to financial accounting, then I will go to global settings, ledger, then here we have the option to define fiscal year settings. Maintain fiscal year variant. You can see in this screen or in this system already so many fiscal year variant settings are there. Means already SAP delivered fiscal year settings are there. SAP is already providing that as per the best practice, some fiscal year settings, which you can use for your requirement instead of creating. For example, we are following calendar. So in that case, I instead of creating calendar, I can just use this formats, whatever I have here, that is case series. So K1, K0 means 12 posting periods we are going to take. K1, K2, K3, accordingly 12 posting period. And here you can see that option is checked, the calendar option, because it's a calendar format. So automatically, the moment you are going to select that uh, it's calendar, so system is going to take here and that first period will be January and the last period will be December because we have specified here calendar. And after that here, you are going to define that how many posting periods we are going to take here. So why it is 12 given? As per best practice, so 12 posting periods, mostly companies are using. So that means as it is calendar, it will be Jan starting from January and it will end with December. So that's why 12 options are given. After that, you can see one more column is there related to special periods. So this special periods, we are going to see what is the use of that one. Special periods, as I already explained in the previous video, special periods we are going to use for the year end adjustment or for the audit purpose. In detail, we will see. Also, you can see if companies are going to take posting periods, not on the basis of one month, rather they want to take on the basis of 15 days. So 24 posting periods will be available. So you can see this M series options are also available here, right? So we are going to use here 12 posting period, but mostly we will find 12, uh, 12 posting periods. If it is non-calendar, so in that case, you can use here V series is available. Suppose let's say V3. So this is non-calendar. So that's why calendar option is not checked here, but uh, 12 posting period, 12 plus four is there. So that's why different options are available. If something you are find, finding suitable, then you can use that one. Or if you want to create your own, then you can define that uh, you, we can customize one. So learning point of view, let me create one fiscal year variant. So I'm going to create two fiscal year variant. One I'm going to take T1 and another one I'm going to take T2. So I'm going to take one as calendar 
for your reference purpose whereas uh, with our company code we are going to use non calendar because my parent comp my company is belongs to india which is uh, non calendar format but for learning point of view so i will take t1 that is calendar and another one i will take that is non calendar non calendar which is april to march reporting and this one i am going to take t2 now let's see how we are going to configure if you are not going to use something your system delivered one click on new entry okay so where i need to create uh, click here this option so click on new entry this color variant is always two digit so one will be t1 so t1 i will take here test calendar and as it is calendar so i will take here so this option means automatically system is going to identify here Jan to December. Okay, and uh, number of posting periods, how many I am going to take? I will take here 12. Special periods here, I am not going to add anything. In next video, I will explain. Similarly, I will take another one, T2 test non-calendar. Non-calendar. So here I will not check this one. 12 okay then save so we will assign this one under our tr which we have configured abc bakery limited done now with this settings our calendar year format is correct there is no issue but the non-calendar one is not correct because when it is non-calendar you have not mentioned that when you are going to start and where you are going to end calendar is self-defined self as a point of view that it is going to start from january and it is going to end with december in case of non-calendar we have to declare in detail that what will be our financial year when we are going to start and when we are going to end okay so here i'm going to take april to march april to march and for that purpose you can see in the left side one period folder is available period folder this period folder we have we are going to define in detail in case of non-calendar okay first let me add in the excel then same we are going to configure in the system so we are going to start from our fine our financial year from april so that means april may june july august december like this december then january february march so in this way you are going to start your uh, in this way you are going to maintain so when i have selected here april that is fourth month from the calendar but we are saying that this is our reporting period as reporting posting period as one so means when user is going to post a transaction in any day of the month of april system is not going to read that as fourth month system should read that one as first month or first posting period maybe it is fourth month from the calendar for our financial reporting point of view it will be first period so same way may will be second then june will be third okay so july will be fourth and uh, accordingly august will be five december will be ninth okay i skip a couple of months here then january will be 10th 11th 12th okay so here uh, first, I've just mentioned the months. Then after that, I have mentioned my posting period, our posting periods requirement. Then after that, you are going to define the days also because each and everything we have to mention. So that will be how many days in the month of April. So we are going to decide. So 30 days. Okay, so we are closing. We are going to do the closing on 30th of April. So accordingly, 31. This will be 30th. So this will be 31. 31. December also 31. Right. So accordingly, January will be 31 right so let's say February normal that will be 21 then March 31 so we have mentioned that in each period how many days will be there then one more adjustment is required that is known as year shifting this one again it will be there in case of non calendar year shifting now this one is a bit tricky we have to understand here so for that purpose I'm going to take one timeline so that it will be easy for us to understand so let's take one timeline here let's say this is our april and this one is our december here we are going to follow 
system format here we are going to follow country format so as april and this is our financial year or calendar you can say 2025 so this is 2025 so as per system this will be your fourth period april will be fourth because system point of view we are following calendar whereas we are saying that it is our first posting period so april is our first posting period in this way december will be our ninth posting period of 2025 as per system december will be 12th posting period of 2025 as per system 2025 completed because in system also one inbuilt date calendar is available after that we have three months january february march so this will be january 26 february 26 and march 26 whereas our reporting point of view still we have three months left so actually it's not 26 it will be 10th posting period 11th posting period 12th posting period of 2025 whereas system is going to consider this is first second third 2026 so means any transactions will be posted in the march system is going to consider this one system is going to read this one as 2026 financial year first period of 2026 or february will be second period of 2026 accordingly march will be third posting period of 2026 whereas our reporting requirement point of view 10th posting period of 2025 11th posting period of 25 so let's say one transaction posted on 6th of january system is going to consider 6th january means 26 financial year first period whereas our reporting requirement is 6th january will be 10th posting period of 2025 because we started from april so in this case there will be conflict between system in built calendar and our reporting calendar will be there so for that purpose this three months this three months we need to bring one step back so from 2026 we will reporting point of view we will bring to 2025 so that is known as your backward year shifting just one step back if you are going to consider this point as zero this is your zero point then one step back means minus one so that settings is applicable for january february march so this will be zero this will be zero accordingly all zero okay coming to january so it will be minus one don't take minus two the next one will be not minus two if we'll take minus two then it will be it will go to two years back we are not doing month shifting we are doing year shifting so this will be minus one this will be minus one this type of detail adjustment required when you are you are going for non-calendar settings now whatever i configured here in the or whatever i have explained in the excel same i'm going to add in the system for non-calendar settings so once i will create or once i have created this non-calendar settings then go to this periods and that's an excel format just add here new entry start with april april so april is which month april will be fourth month so in excel i've just given the description here we have to add the number so april will be fourth month from calendar it is fourth month whereas from our reporting point of view it will be first period then define your days year shifting not applicable year shifting is required from january on onwards so may fifth period or uh, fifth month then 31 days second year shifting not required like this june 30 days third posting period from calendar sixth period but third posting period not required like this 7 31 4 okay like this you need to maintain 8 august 31 fifth period not required then 9th september 6th period not required october 31 days 7th posting period year shifting not required then november then 8th posting period period zero not required december 31 days 9th posting period not required up to this it is 2000 so up to this all one current finance year if i will take my current year example so this is 2025 next month on onwards it will be 2026 so we have to do the backward year shifting so this will be one means january 
31 days, 10th posting period, minus 1. So one step back, February, 28 days, then 11th, minus 1. March, 31 days, 12, minus 1. So like this, this format we have to maintain here, then save it. So in future, when we are going to post the transaction, so when we are going to post a transaction related to February, system is going to, inbuilt system calendar is going to read this one as second posting period of that particular finance year. But our reporting point of view, it will be the 10th posting period of, sorry, 11th posting period of the previous one. Means if we will be there in the 2026 February, actually the reporting point of view, it will be 11th posting period of 2025. I hope it is clear so once you configure the detailed fiscal year settings whether it is calendar calendar is the com comparatively easy the next step will be we need to assign the fiscal year variant to our company code so now i am going to assign t2 that non calendar one to our company code so company code a100 and t2 same and the same fiscal year variant whatever we have assigned here is applicable to controlling and to the mem also it's not like in different module we are going to create different different fiscal year settings the same will be applicable posting period related settings will be different but fiscal year settings will be the same so in this video i explain how to create the fiscal year settings with calendar or with non calendar so when it is non calendar then detail settings are required in next video, I am going to explain the use of special periods and shortened fiscal period.